All right, welcome to Mute Shotokai. Here, uh, Michael and I were in each other's little COVID pod here. Uh, earlier, uh, I was watching a video. Uh, some of my buddies were working on Ude Gaish from the Tomiki nomenclature, not from the Judo nomenclature. Uh, judo, they do a uh, Ude Gaish, it's a Sutemi Waza or a sacrifice throw. We're working on basically Kote Gaish, but a little bit higher up in the arm. Now, typically, the way that this is done is done in a very jujitsu sort of form where people are thinking about doing things, I'm breaking balance, I'm pushing the arm up, I'm fitting in here, I'm getting this way back. And what we've been searching for is more of this Aiki no Tai, Aiki body version, where the entire throw is driven on just connection, right? And also the principle of up, down, turn. So, uh, Michael and I have been working this from a push hands, because we're getting really sensitive into our connections. And right now it's just like our arm hairs are creepily rubbling against each other here. But now, as I offer him, so you go ahead and, as I offer him, oh, I get my balance broken, and all he's doing is thinking about connecting into my center. And as I come back up, he's driving me into Aiki Age, and thinking about connecting into my shoulder, and that's his whole role right now. And now he rotates, and now he's thinking about connecting back into my center. Ugh. And so it's a connection-driven approach as opposed to a mechanical approach here. Because really, he's just thinking about having his posture, his skeleton, or I mean, his spine is coming up, his hips are coming down. He is just sensing. And when I get insistent, uh, he breaks me out. And he connects to me. Uh, he rotates. Uh, uh. It's very tight. There's not a lot of motion. It's all about feeling. And all the, a lot of it is driven by my... Uh, energy now. So it's less space, less, less energy. And his pressure never changes from here. Right? So... Uh, I'm not feeling any pressure beyond the lightest touch. Uh, Alright, Mike. Go through it one time and explain what you're feeling and doing. We'll go super slow. Really, I'm just deflecting this. That's all I'm doing. Take it away from him going towards my center line, take it out to the side. From there, shoulders wide open, just a good old fashioned Nike up. And when I do this, I'm doing a slight rotation to get that foot moving down there. Once that happens, I'm already starting to push down into a center at the very beginning of this. And a lot of times, you can actually get them down without having to do the classic way over the shoulder uh -huh. So instead of you should be able to do it if you get it right right in there. Yeah, so I remember in the olden days we used to have to come here and a lot of times it would be like this cut over or it would be a fight to rotate. But right now, there's no center to center connection. Even if just from here, I think about your center, feel the difference, right? <laughs> And there was no extra pressure on the arm. That was just me focusing intention towards center. One. I really like this push hands way of practicing this because it takes any wanting to do energy. That's just rotation. Ike up, rotate, connect to center. And down. Light, 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 light is better. Anything else to add? Perfect. Like it. Cool. If you like the other way, if you like the jujitsu way, do it. But if you're interested in this variation, go try.